Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about a book written by Rohington Mystery, A Fine Balance. So this book has been written in 1997. It's uh, very thick, uh, it's more than 600 pages. And I'm sure that if you see the length of the book, you will be a bit blocked, but it's a very, very good book. And I think uh, everybody should, should, should read the book. Uh, the story uh, takes place in uh, India in 1975. Uh, during the state of emergency and the author doesn't mention the name of the Prime Minister but it was uh, Indira Gandhi and you can see in this uh, India of uh, 1975 life was uh, terrible, terrible a lot of despair, a lot of pain uh, people living in uh, very very uh, poor conditions the caste system was uh, extremely uh, uh, difficult to, to live and, and painful. Um, so the India at that time was uh, total anarchy. Uh, the police uh, were corrupted. Um, the government wanted to control uh, the, um, the population because there were above one billion uh, human beings in, uh, in, in India and they thought about uh, sterilization of, uh, of, of the men, uh, castration. Uh, so they used some very bad ways to, uh, to, to sterilize the, the men in, in the, that period of time without their, their permission. Uh, it was really a, a terrible time uh, to live. So this is the story of uh, a four strangers uh, that end up uh, living together in, in a tiny apartment. So you have uh, Dina, who is a, a lady uh, around uh, 40 years old, uh, who has an apartment and she is struggling to uh, survive and make money and she uh, wanted to create a small business where she could manage uh, people working for her and she decided to hire two uh, tailors to sew clothes uh, every day that she was selling to a small uh, agent uh, that was uh, doing some export uh, business. The tailors, uh, Ishvar, who is the, the uncle and Om, the nephew, uh, came to, uh, to work for, for, for Dina. And Dina had uh, one empty room left in uh, her apartment that she wanted to uh, rent so she could make some additional money to, to survive. And she rented to Manak, one uh, university student uh, that wanted to uh, live in another place, not in the, in the, in the, in the university hotel. And uh, he found this uh, empty apartment because Dina was a friend of uh, his mother. That's how he ended up in, in, uh, in this apartment. So you, can, you will see the evolution of uh, those uh, four uh, characters uh, living, uh, working together step by step, uh, building a friendship that will uh, last for, uh, for, 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 for uh, all their life. So the book is built around those uh, four uh, characters. Uh, it goes uh, way back in time uh, from uh, their grandparents to their parents and to their current uh, life and how those uh, three families, their path across the, each other until they met each other and, and built a life together in this uh, tiny apartment. I don't know if we can call this a life, it's more about survival. They are living in uh, terrible conditions, in extreme poverty. Um, the author uh, is really uh, spending a huge uh, effort to uh, to build their personality and uh, their characters and uh, their dreams and uh, their life. And sometimes the, the, the words he use are very vivid. Uh, you, can, you can smell the, the, the stench. Uh, you, you, you feel like you are living with, with them and, and you feel attached to those characters. So it's, it's really painful uh, to, 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 to live this kind of, uh, of life. Uh, but sometimes you have some hope coming to in, in the book and 
again some despair and again some hope and there's this kind of uh, what he calls a fine balance between despair and hope uh, when you live in, in poverty and it never stops always uh, this fight between uh, hope and, and despair so sometimes you think okay this is good it's hopeful things are improving but then again another event comes and you're like everything destroyed your dreams are destroyed broken and I think this is a story about how to live a life and how, how to survive uh, in, in, in this world. But it's really it's a, a troublesome uh, story. It's, there is so much pain in, it, in, in, in this book, so much uh, sadness, so much uh, injustice, so, so many things that are unfair. I mean, uh, when you see the, so there is two characters, I, I cannot mention the name because I don't want to spoil the book, but they will go through hardship, living in the streets, living in camps. Uh, one of them will have his uh, legs cut. One of them will, will have, uh, uh, will be sterilized and he will be uh, paralyzed. Beggars in the streets without arms, without, without, without legs. It's, 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 uh, sometimes you don't understand how, how they can keep living like this. And yes, throughout the book, some of the characters, they, they, they consider suicide, but the suicide is not something accepted in, in Indian culture, so they keep living and surviving. The only thing that is uh, very uh, hopeful is, is, is this friendship uh, that keeps things uh, in, in balance. And I think this is, uh, this is where the balance comes. Uh, the friendship, the love of their parents, of their uh, friends of their family that uh, create this, this, this balance of, of, of survival. If they didn't have this, uh, like uh, in the book, you will find that there is one uh, character that lost all this uh, friendship, love from the, his parents, and he will end his life because there is no more hope, it's uh, only despair, and the, and the balance is, is broken. So, I think the, that's the main message, uh, the, the, the balance between hope and despair, and, uh, and, and this balance is, is, is found through love and friendship. If you don't have those, then the balance doesn't exist anymore, and that is the total uh, despair. No matter uh, how much money you have, this is what sticks uh, us to, to, to life and to survival. So, you will see that uh, India is very uh, mysterious to me. Uh, how can all this balance each other, all those castes and, and, and this poverty and, and this injustice, all this uh, uh, cruelty, and how people can keep living uh, and balancing each other is, is something that uh, is really a mystery for me. Uh, I've been in India and I've seen that uh, with my own eyes, the, the poverty uh, is totally uh, crazy for me, uh, but still people can survive in these kind of conditions, um, they can survive and that's, uh, that's in itself an, an amazing uh, will uh, that, that they have and that we, we should be uh, respectful of those people. Some uh, key quotes. His life has become the plot of a bad Hindi movie, minus the happy ending. Sometimes you have to use your failures as stepping stones to success. You have to maintain a fine balance between hope and despair. Where humans were concerned, the only emotion that made sense is wonder at their ability to endure and sorrow for the hopelessness of it all. The secret of survival was to balance hope and despair to embrace the change. So this is the, the kind of book that will remain with you for weeks or, or months. Uh, and, and, and I really, really uh, like those kind of books. Those books are really few. Uh, the books that will keep you thinking even after you, you, you read them. Uh, so for, for that I give a, a, the grade for this book is A+. 
plus. So pain is never uh, an ending. Uh, there will always come uh, painful moments in, in life and uh, we have to, to keep uh, through it uh, thanks to uh, patience and, and wisdom. And that's uh, some reminder that we get uh, from the book. Pain is always there and we need to learn how to deal with the pain. If you want to read more books, improve your reading speed and know the books I read and the insights I got from those books, please subscribe to my channel and give me a like.